Hello pig farmers and pig lovers. Welcome back to the Vasa Pig Farm. My name is Daniel Ezeji, founder of the Vasa Pig Farm in Ugo. Today we shall be looking at uh, stressors in pig and uh, how to manage them. Uh, stressors just refers to anything or activity that can increase the temperature of your pigs causing them discomfort anything that can increase the temperature of your pig and cause them to become uncomfortable that's what we call a stressor and uh, understanding stressors in pig farming is very very crucial because uh, some stressors when poorly managed they can deter the growth and development and uh, the reproductiveness of your head you know a stressed pig will not reproduce a stressed pig will not grow very well a stressed pig will not develop very well so dear pig farmer today we shall examine some of the things or activities that can cause stress to your pigs and uh, i'll be going through some of the lists here but it's not an exhaustive list you know i might miss some things i might uh, you know so it's not an exhaustive but these are some of the common ones that you should watch out for. The first one is uh, tail docking. You know, farmers cause the, their piglet tail to avoid aggression and uh, tail biting, forgetting that the tail is not even a major target when pigs fight. You know, the neck area is the major target in the numerous pig fights I have witnessed. You know, many people dock pig tails because of the wrong reason, because of uh, some wrong reasons. Some even think that docking their pig tail we make their pig look uh, foreign, you know. Some even feel like it will make their pig look uh, cute, you know, uh, when their tails are docked. But never dock a pig uh, tail because you think it will make them grow faster. You know, that is a fat lie. You know, it might be working in a dog breeding, dog farming, you know. You dock, you dock your dog's tail and it makes them grow fatter or bigger or whatever. But that's not true in pig farming. It doesn't work that way. Cutting a piglet, uh, a piglet's tail is a very painful experience that a piglet will, ne will have to live with for the next few days or weeks before he or she will recover fully. You don't want your piglet passing through such pain unless there is a perceived aggression among the litter, especially in large litters where the sow's milk uh, producing nipples are not enough to go around. Another stressor you should watch out for is uh, castration. You know, castration is uh, the removal of the male, uh, the male piglet's uh, testicles. You know, this is another painful experience in the life of the male piglet. I've only castrated my pig, one of my male pig, once, and I knew the uh, the, the time it took him to heal, and this and and how painful the experience was. And uh, the truth is that. The castrated male did not grow bigger than the rest. No, just normal thing, normal. So the reason for uh, this is not uh, for the pig to grow fatter or faster. No, the correct reason for castration is to remove what we call boar taint. That's the boar smell for market that customers pay particular attention to boar taint, especially this uh, abroad, uh, American, uh, Europe, and the rest. You know, the the, the customers they pay attention to that boar tent. So, but here in Nigeria, people don't even care. So, it's not uh, uh, something you should do. It will cause your pig a, a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort. Okay. So, another uh, stressor we'll look at... Uh, uh, okay, let's just conclude on this uh, uh, cutting... Uh, castration you know boas actually develop this smell when they are about age eight to ten months uh, please you can do all that things let me finish up here if you are not keeping your boa as a part of your reproductive head there is no need to castrate it as you are supposed uh, as you are supposed to take them to the slaughter at six months or higher seven months unless you are keeping a bad breed that needs to stay up to 10 to 12 months to attain market size there's no need to castrate your male piglets. Okay, um, I'm in the midst of something here. I will continue this uh, stressor in the next video where we'll talk about teeth clipping, 
kids and the rest. Till next time, I'll say stay blessed.